the first I knew, um, I've heard shouting hello and I've come down and it was a bailiff stood right where you are. I have a warrant from the courts, the master office, master what happened to our office. Just one of them stood in the doorway, didn't know who it was, I couldn't see it, I'd just seen the front of him. He said it was to do with the parking fine and then he won't leave. I was asking him to leave and leave and he won't leave. He said if you don't let us take anything out here, if you don't have the payment within 10 minutes, then uh, it, uh, don't worry about it, we'll be taking your car or anything in the house. Hannah McDonald is a carer. She needs her car to make house visits. No car means no work. Equity, the firm that employs the bailiffs, say they try to get in touch with Hannah and sent numerous letters. She claims she heard nothing. Scared they were going to take her car away, Hannah jumped inside with her two-year-old daughter and locked the doors. Her mum had already contacted the Northwest branch of the action group Bailiff Response. They're a consumer rights organisation who turn up when the bailiffs are there to help assist the debtor. But while she's sitting inside her car, a bailiff clamps her. Scratched all your allies there, you know. And a lorry arrives to take her car away. It was scary, yeah, because I thought I was going to lose my car, and obviously I would have lost my job. You can't drag it because it's all going to stay there. It's disgusting. And then I've, when they knew that they couldn't take the car and I wasn't leaving the car, he tried to come into the house. Obviously, I'd lock the door. Tell he was taking things out of the house. Paul Gibson's an expert in consumer law. He says he's seen a dramatic recent increase in bailiff actions. Straight away, it's the fact that bailiffs are attending at the home of a vulnerable person, a um, single mother with a very young child. As soon as the bailiffs become aware of those circumstances, they should be backing out of those premises um, and again backing completely off the premises and not uh, progressing forward at all. So go away, go and pick on somebody else. All this over a parking ticket. And this is where Hannah's problems began, Salford Civic Centre car park. And to be fair, this sign could be seen as confusing. It clearly states 30 minutes are free, but just above it, it says obtain a free ticket from the machine. All Hannah needed to do was push the green button, but she didn't. And with bailiff charges added, the mix up over a free ticket soon snowballed into nearly 400 pounds. Comes that I have to pay, I'll pay the eight pound fine that it was. I'm refusing to pay the bailiffs. If you can pay the principal debt to the creditor, so in these circumstances of the council for £80, that then gets rid of um, the warrant um, and the bailiff will then have to pursue you directly for uh, their fees, but they will have to do that in separate circumstances. So they have to start again by going to court and things like that, and they won't be able to take any further action in respect of that particular warrant. Equitas say their methods and operations are compliant with the law, guidelines and best practice to protect its reputation, as well as that of its clients. Oh, this one, £80 pound fine. £80 pound fine. What's that mean? Right here, right now. Enforcement officers. Scary word. Equitas say they investigate any case presented to them, but it's company policy not to comment specifically on issues raised. Bye bye, Clamp. Matt O'Donoghue.